add a capacitor down there and see if there's any difference. And then another capacitor down in there for testing. Really don't see any different. <laughs> hey, I hope I caught that on video. What the hell happened with that capacitor there? Let's see what happened. I don't think so. That was... It's a loud-ass electrical short. What is up, guys? Well... I just tried to do a little modification to my homebrew AC unit here to uh, <laughs> hopefully make it a little better on the regulation. So I added like another one of these capacitors, I took it off an old circuit board from an LG unit. And I had tied it into the DC bus at the VFD and everything was running and, and then it like exploded. So I don't know if that was a bad capacitor or what, I couldn't find nothing shorting or touching on it, but uh, I don't know, I messed with it a few times and then after that, the whole system was shorted. The diode rectifier there, you know, that also came out of an LG, it's shorted and it was blowing my 50 amp breaker. And then the second time I reset it, it blew my 200 amp breaker on the house. So the family wasn't too happy about that. It sounded like gunshots when the whatever was exploding. I didn't see really much come out of the capacitor, but it sure blackened all this plastic trim from the VFD. You know, I'm just screwing in the other rectifier. I had I had two of them, and I'm pretty sure that one's good. When I put power to the uh, bus, I do notice it's a lot safer to do it with the solar power because it's, the solar power doesn't have an infinitive supply of current. At best, it's 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 whatever the solar panels can do, which is 17 amps when the sun's at noon. Right now, you know, it's going to be a lot less, so maybe 12 amps or something. Excuse the noise from the piece of shit Goodman. Just got this back up and running after like 30 minutes or so. Rewiring everything, might have been about 45 minutes. I just gutted my uh, controller out of there. Had to hook the AC power up. Get these wires here back to the uh, AC input just to get my AC running. So it's using the internal rectifier here instead of up there. The DC from this solar is still tied in, it just, but it doesn't. There's no controller to phase out the uh, utility power. You can see a bunch of just nasty right here. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's the, some sort of, I mean, this is an electronics paste. I think this is just regular, regular paste gloves. I don't know if it was conducting with that high 300 and something volts, but I kept getting boom. I mean, look at the tape, it's fried, it's melted. And I think the compressor might still be good, but I'm going to chuck it. Anyway, that somehow fried my rectifier. And I put the other one in without that and everything, and then it popped again. So I don't know if the other rectifier, because I brought home two, was bad. No, I know it's not bad, because I was using that rectifier inside. So anyway, it's fried now. I think I got like zero ohms between, uh, you know, minus and plus. So it's definitely short a diode. Uh, there's a chance that that triac is shorted. I read it to ground and it, I didn't get anything. It seemed to be open, but who knows? But then when I uh, hooked everything up, it went boom, even though that was removed now. <laughs> so back to the drawing board. I've been wanting to make a uh, yet another revision on my uh, regulator anyway, so just gonna have to like do it from scratch. <laughs> Again, or something. The meter here, and see, it's just, uh, should be going through those diodes in series. It's pretty much just dead short. Go over to a uh, AC in to a diode out, see that point. It's pretty much a dead short. Yeah, see, should be like 0.4, whatever. Some are 0.6, but these were the reading. 0.4 something before it fried <laughs> so that sucks oh and uh just again in case this is just what happened but i used this flux to solder the wires to my capacitor there 
maybe this stuff is kind of conductive. Um, this is what I use on circuit boards, which is made for, you know, circuit boards. And it's pretty expensive stuff. <laughs> but I was being cheap. And I used, you know, pipe solder flux. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to cause me any problems probably just to do a wire here that are high voltage wire. But I think, you know, with it all on the capacitor, it kind of bridged the connections. And I think... Maybe it built up carbon. I don't know. It didn't short right away. It shorted after a while. And then you saw there the capacitor, you know, was fried. And anyway, <laughs> who knows? Until next time.